Greetings, fellow nerds. Why do I keep doing that? Hi, this is Jeff of Tau Later Mouse. Back in 2009, I showed a video. I did this little experiment putting mercury on a computer heat sink and forming what's called an amalgamation. Mercury will amalgamate with a lot of different non ferrous metals, but that uh, aluminum oxide layer makes it very difficult to get the process going. At the time, no one had ever seen this before. So it was a pretty unique experiment. This time we're going to be using a heat sink off of, I believe it was a north bridge off of uh, a motherboard, computer motherboard. And we'll put a little bit of gallium on it. It's been preheated. I purchased this gallium at galliumsource.com. Um, they not only have gallium, but they carry a lot of uh, elemental metals like sodium and cesium and mercury and all kinds of cool stuff. I talked to the owner of Gallium Source the other day, a super nice guy, and he gently reminded me that I needed to wear gloves when I work with gallium. Even though gallium is considered non-toxic, the MSDS sheet or material safety data sheet recommends wearing eye protection and gloves and work with gallium. Now he's mostly concerned that kids experimenting with gallium will get it on their fingers and maybe rub their eyes, eat afterwards or something like that. So definitely follow the MSDS sheet. Now I am just spreading out the gallium. I'm scratching the surface of the aluminum a little bit um, even though I really don't need to do that. The gallium will kind of go right through the to the oxidation layer unlike uh, uh, mercury. I'm now adding 10 or 11 drops of mercury you can count them um, and at this point we'll speed up the video each of these video segments is 10 to 15 minutes in length and I'm compressed them um, 64 to 256 times their real speed now the mercury and the gallium are kind of tag teaming and working together here. The gallium is kind of trailblazing, um, weakening the structural integrity of the aluminum. The gallium really doesn't care much about that aluminum oxide layer and it's going di down into the roots, down into the base metal. Since the oxidation layer has been taken care of by the gallium, the mercury can freely amalgamate with the aluminum and the gray ashy material is the product of the mercury and aluminum. This entire process occurred at about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit so it wasn't aided by heat or anything like that and the entire process that I've shown is about an hour long. So let's have a look at it now. It is extremely fragile at this point. Um, more fragile than, uh, I would say, like uncooked spaghetti. And there you have it. And maybe this kind of gives you an idea why gallium and mercury are not allowed on airplanes. If that got into an airplane, into the structure of an airplane, the plane would just fall apart. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Um, thank you very much for watching.